Hey everyone, so here we have a water drop K6 that we recently got that we're gonna be installing in our kitchen here. And uh, full disclosure, I did get this uh, device for free from water drop um, so that I can give them some feedback as to what I think of it. All right, so let's open it up. Looks like it's a crushed chrome looking pack here. That's what this looks like here. And it comes, comes in a separate box. And here's how big it is. Uh, that's what it looks like. It definitely looks bigger than I thought, but it's nice that it's all one little box with everything that you need, and it's tankless for this reverse osmosis uh, with hot water. All right. So once we're ready to install it, uh, we'll go through that process and then see what kind of results we get in uh, water testing after uh, it runs through the, this filter. All right, so today's the day that we're installing the, the filter here. I just want to show you what it looks like so far. Uh, here's the top itself. Let me move this out of the way here so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there it is. I'll show you more detail later, close up. But that's there and it goes in here. It's coming down through here, and uh, I just finished connecting the, the inlet here. Uh, super simple to do. The, it comes with this piece here, which is like a flexible piece. And you can move around a little bit because this here turns. So it's super simple to connect it to uh, the existing water line. It works with uh, 3 8 and it works with a half inch pipe. Uh, it comes default for 3 8 which is this right here. Uh, but it, this here's the adapter. So if you had half an inch, then you would take this adapter off here and then uh, connect it directly to here. So it gives you those two options. And now I have the water running here and I have this capped out here because we're going to connect everything now in here. So, so far so good. All right, for the drain uh, saddle, uh, the drain saddle that it comes with is a one and a half inch pipe. So unfortunately this right here is two inches. So I can either get another drain saddle, that's two inches if I can find one, or I could potentially put this right here. Uh, it seems like that might work if I just put it onto here like this flush and uh, attach it there. So I might try that. So you can see the device here and uh, here's the drainage right there. I ended up putting it there because I couldn't find a two inch pipe anywhere locally or even online. It seemed like it would take a while. So I installed it right there. And uh, here's the device. Let's see here how it's flushing right now. The toggles moves around. All right, here we have uh, cold water. Here's cold water, and then also has hot water. You can do hot water, and within seconds you get to hot water. All right, so we're testing here in uh, City of Los Angeles Municipal Water. We are testing the K6 water drop to see how much TDS it removes. When I run the water here, it tells me that it's doing, what, five? Before it said three TDS, now it's saying five. Oh, there it goes to three. Okay, so that's what it says. So let's pour the one again for this. Now uh, we can see that it's here on the right, and the one on the left, I'll just pour it again so we can get it on video. Um, when I go here, and I pour here cold water, this is direct straight tap water. That's on the left hand side, and we have the water drop K6 on the right. Here is the K6, you can see it's down there. Alright, so now we're going to put our meter here and see if it actually changes the value. So open this up and we'll push so it's on. And here we're gonna test first this one. And we have a value of 91, which isn't a super bad. I've seen it way worse than 91 for our city water. And now we're gonna go to this one here. And we got a value of 91. So does that mean it's not doing anything? Let's try to clear it first. All right, do it again. 
Oh no, <laughs> it was that I left it, but I didn't reset it. Okay, so it's got a value of four. So let's do this again, just to verify. I clear it, I'll go back in here. Gives me now 71, oh, 92, 92. And now I go here, I clear it, and I go back here, and now I got a value of three. So it seems like, yeah, it is working in the case six is, oh, now it's five. Uh, so it's at th three, it's at five, but yeah, it clearly seems like it matches the numbers that we were getting from it. All right. Overall, the installation was super easy. I love the hot and cold all-in-one and the five-stage RO filtration worked perfect and it's very efficient with water. But it's not the cheapest option on the market at just over $700 and it also requires electricity. If you want to learn more about the water drop, check out the links in the description below. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.